I was reading this thing about Scarlett Johansson playing Black Widow. Apparently, originally when she auditioned for it, it was her and Emily Blunt, like in the final audition rounds or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Emily Blunt actually got the role first, but there were scheduling conflicts because she was in Gulliver's Travel. Uh It was like a movie with Jack Black. And for the movie, she was going to get paid like $500,000 as opposed to like the first Avengers or wherever Scarlett was in first, she would have gotten paid $400,000. So it was a $100,000 difference Uh and her agent decided to go with the one that paid more because she was going to make an extra $100,000. But if she would have stayed with the Avengers and she was Black Widow, she would have made a little over um, $100 million now. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh my God. So it's one decision. And Holy Emily shit. Blunt literally had it in the fucking back. Could you imagine having it? Like, you got the role. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing I'm doing Gulliver's Travel. <laughs> no, oh, my God. That's I'd awful. be forever pissed. Yeah. Would, dude, that would, <laughs> there would be nothing that could ever bring me out of that. But when they give her that Marvel contract, isn't it like several movies? So why would she turn that down? I mean, they must have they must have told her it's just one movie. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't for... Maybe for she all. didn't want to go that way with her career. Maybe this story's made up. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of bullshit. But the, I have fucking seen this, so I don't know. And I, I have a credible source. It's a guy on TikTok um, <laughs> named oh Charles. Followers. So this is, this is legit. He also does some cool stuff with Mentos and Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. It may not be accurate, but that's pretty crazy. Hey, I have some good news. Nat, say the news. I bought a house. Oh, you got it? Congratulations. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh my God. I Move know. it out. <laughs> 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 I'm laughing and then I start crying. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Natalie bought a, a $19 million house. Yeah. What? Oh my God. <laughs> what? That much? Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. That's wild. I know. <laughs> Turns out she's been funneling money out of my accounts for a while now. That's why he doesn't have that much. He's like, Natalie, where's all the money? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Great. Now people know that I asked you the other day, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> um, is Todd going to live with you? How is that going to go? Um, no, Todd already has somewhere to live. <laughs> this song, dude, this sounds like you use that same voice when Todd asks you if he can live with you. Can I live with you? You go, no, Todd already has home. <laughs> and you like it? Are you excited about moving out? Does it feel like you're going to become a homeowner? This is a big fucking deal, Natalie. I know. You can have really- sex with whoever you want now and I won't be listening. Not that I was before. <laughs> that I was, was a big concern of mine. That was a big motivator for me to move out. Because really? now I can just have sex with all these different people. Yes. Yeah, no, you're gonna ru- not. you're gonna run through Studio City. I can't wait, man. Can't wait <laughs> Hello, Los everybody. Angeles. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Miss okay, David, you're miss living with him. Um, you know, I've been going back and forth on the topic of like whether or not I'm gonna be sad. Um, I'm gonna be living with Reggie, so that was like one of the big things. Like one of the, like the main reasons why I haven't moved out was one like obviously it's really nice to live with friends, and David's such a great roommate. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Um, <laughs> But now Reggie's here, so like Reggie and I can live together. I have a roommate. I won't live by myself because I just I get too scared living by myself. And then um Brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, um, what was the Cheerios, other the big box of Cheerios I have. Uh, um, okay, um, so then you're moving out. That's exciting. It's kind of coincidental because I've been recently thinking about living by myself. Like I, I just want to start living on my own now. I like when the house is just quiet and the empty. What are you talking about? You have seven people around you at all times. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that during the day, but like at night, like yeah. I love when the house is just dead. You I, like that? I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels like it's just like. There's, it, it's it's starting to become like you know how I like bread, like I like bread for the reason because I feel like I I feel like I'm in the middle of a desert and I've just found bread yeah. and now I have to eat it and keep myself from starving. Like uh, that's that's why I like bread is because it reminds me of like <clears throat> it reminds me of that sound and that sound makes me love bread. I don't know how to explain it, but I like this weird kink about bread. And now I'm starting to get that same feeling towards living alone. You just sit here and cry when everyone's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. <laughs> It's it's a lot less embarrassing to cry when no one's around. I hear you. Um, but that's what, sick, you, man. Where do you like to cry the most? Which which parts of the house? Um, usually just the restrooms. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's an easier cleanup that way. You yeah. just, you stay stay right over the shower or the bath, and all the tears just go right down the drain. Well, good luck, man. Good luck. Thanks. Um, so you got rid of Natalie. <laughs> yeah. And now you got to get rid of Ilya. That was gonna be tough. <laughs> <laughs> Is it huge? It's not huge. Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's twenty seven hundred square that's feet. Great. Whoa, that's has, huge. Yeah, it's I mean it's like a it's a really good size. Twenty seven hundred square feet. That's the big. size of my house right now. It's bigger than your house right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> twenty seven hundred square feet. It's different. But not it's, as cool a view, right? No view. No view. It's, <laughs> I don't it. care about the view as much as you do. Yeah, I care about my saying. space and my like style. By the way, Natalie Natalie has an assistant now who is who is Re- Reggie. Someone said that to Natalie today. She was working out. 
trainer, Jillian, I was like talking about Reggie and he was like, wait, aren't you an assistant? <laughs> you got an assistant? <laughs> he was like, how many, crazy. Yeah, he's like, how many assistants you guys got? <laughs> it's like a family tree. Yeah. It's like a big branch of assistants. You gotta get Reggie an assistant now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be next. That's um, where I come in. <laughs> there's something crazy I found out the other day, which I'm surprised I, I, just, I didn't know this. Taylor was a, like a baby model. <laughs> like she was like on like uh, like she was in like like a like a when she was younger like what were you on she was like on Pampers boxes and oh, shit. That's why it, you it just showed me that huggies. TikTok of the baby. But, yeah, no, <laughs> I oh and huggies, it was a sorry. really cute baby and yeah, she I mean, was it like didn't going last for long, but she was going through like a list of like everything she worked on when she was younger. <laughs> she was she, like yesterday she was probably she's like yeah when I used to go to auditions with my mom I was like what the fuck did you just say auditions with your mom well, and then yeah castings she, castings yeah, yeah yeah and it was just like she, like what what are some of the jobs you did I did like a pool commercial um I'm a, I remember. The little bouncy ball that, you know, with the little handle and it's a red mm. bouncy ball and it's mm-hmm. in those magazines and you bounce on it outside. Yeah. I was that It sounds like you girl. were in a coma and you just woke up <laughs> <laughs> and now you're remembering it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So well, uh, when your mom took you to these castings, how old were you? The first f- 10 years of my life. Do you miss it? No. I was like so into it when I was little and then I, I hit that awkward stage. Oh, and now I don't I even know, know how to well. take photos, so. <laughs> it's so funny. I think that's why, like, that must explain why Taylor's such, like, a young person. Like, she's so, like, young and chipper. Like a, That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like, that, that must have, like, frozen her her entire, like, personality, like, in those <laughs> pictures. Well, I think, I think what you do as a young kid is, like, very impactful on you for the rest of your life. Yeah, like, I think that's what it is. Like, I think yeah. it, like, made such a huge impact on her where she's just, like... She's forever going to be a kid. No, I definitely had the personality when I was little. I think I just... Were you like, hi, I'm Taylor Hudson, and I'm going to be... Yeah? Yeah, I just want to be friends, you know? (laughs) And I would like... I remember just hanging (laughs) out with... Hi, I'm Taylor Hudson, and I'm auditioning for the Wildest Commercial, or I could just be all of your friends. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know the story of J-Lo and how she invented... How she was like a, she invented the light bulb. She invented electricity. No, um, there's a story of how she helped um, come up with the idea for Google Images. Do you know this? No. Yeah, like so uh, when Google didn't have e- images, she wore the green dress mm. to that uh, award Versace. show or whatever. You you do you remember the green dress? Of course. Jay? Was it like as big of a deal as it was? It really was a big deal for some reason. I don't know why, but, but it, w- it was huge. But explain that to me. Why? Because it's just a green dress. It was just this dress that like. Uh, the media just couldn't stop talking about really? it. Really? Yeah, it was the cover of People magazine. And I don't know, it was like the first time, it, it was when like fashion and award shows like really came together and it became like a business and like an industry and it's like everybody cared about it. And they just loved that dress. Like Jennifer Anderson's haircut. That was the other big thing at the time. Why? What, what was her haircut? Something about this hairstyle. Well, Friends was huge. Right. And then she got this really great haircut called the Rachel. And everybody wanted that haircut. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, anyway, with with <coughs> with J Lo, <coughs> sorry, shutting down. Like, what if he dropped dead right now? <laughs> if he dropped dead right now, what would we do? <laughs> like, Nally goes over, she checks his pulse, and he's like, he's dead. Well, we J- call nine one one. Obviously, call nine one one. Taylor, what would you do? Would you freak out? Would you be able to handle the situation, or would you be so stunned? No, I would do my best to figure <laughs> out what's wrong with him. No, I've declared it. He's dead. No, he's dead. I'm dead. You're I'm dead, dead, dead. It's over. Dead. No, no, no. We rush him till they do that little thing where they put the iron on your heart. I'm dead, Taylor. I've been laying here for a while. We I'm could cold. get the waffle maker out and try to revive him. Right. That would be that <laughs> Okay, would be enough smart. about reviving me. I'm dead. What do you do? I just don't think you would be dead yet. Okay. Who do you think would... Who do you... Who do you, who do you, who do you <laughs> okay, so you'd be in denial. 